A nation transfixed by controversy. Call it the tale of the tape. One of Hollywood's richest moguls, the owner of the L.A. Clippers, purportedly caught making racist comments during a conversation with his alleged ex-mistress. Now even President Obama is weighing in. Is this scandal the revenge of a former flame or something more sinister? Here's ABC's Ryan Smith. You had a problem to me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. Today, those ugly words have gone viral. Donald Sterling, the married L.A. Clippers owner and real estate mogul, worth an estimated $1.9 billion, allegedly spoke them to his alleged former mistress, V. Stiviano, earlier this month after she posted a photo of herself and Hall of Famer Irvin Magic Johnson on Instagram. Don't put them on Instagram so the world has to see it, so they have to call me. And don't bring them into my games, okay? You could sleep with them, you could bring them in, you could do whatever you want. The little I ask you is not to promote it on that and, and not to bring them to my games. On Saturday, TMZ and Deadspin posted the recording that rocked the country. Do you know that you have a whole team that's black that plays for you? you just Do I know? I support them and give them food and clothes and cars and houses. Stiviano denies releasing the tapes, yet we know she's the defendant in a civil suit brought by Sterling's wife. Rochelle Sterling alleges that her husband used community property to buy Stiviano a Ferrari and two Bentleys. Sterling also allegedly gave Stiviano a $1.8 million apartment. Some have interpreted the conversation as leading, with her prompting Sterling's answers. But shouldn't we take a stand for what's wrong and be the change in the difference? I, I don't want to change the culture because I can't. It's too big. But you can marble. change yourself. We talk to you for just a quick second. We Today, TMZ claims Stiviano has 100 hours of sterling recordings. She had no comment outside her home today as she dashed away from cameras. His wife, who he's been married to for over 50 years, released a statement Sunday saying, quote, Our family is devastated by the racist comments made by my estranged husband. The Clippers say they haven't verified whether the recording is real, but the outrage has been swift and widespread. With 10 sponsors, including CarMax and Virgin America, today dropping their sponsorship of the Clippers. It seems Sterling, who bought the Clippers in 1981 for $12 million, over the long term will be enormously valuable, has been sued by the Justice Department for racial discrimination over his alleged refusal to rent apartments to minorities. The case was settled for $2.7 million, the biggest ever obtained by the Justice Department in a housing discrimination case. In court documents, a former employee is quoted as saying, when we went into the buildings, he, Sterling, said that blacks smelled and blacks stunk and he wanted them out of his buildings. Sterling was also sued by Clippers former general manager and NBA legend Elgin Baylor, who accused Sterling of building a franchise with the, quote, vision of a southern plantation type structure and having a, quote, pervasive and ongoing racist attitude, the jury ruled in Sterling's favor. Elgin Baylor, a couple years ago, filed suit against him. Does this now lend credence to what Elgin Baylor said a few yeah. years ago? Yeah, I think we're looking at sort of a, this plantation mentality, this idea on those tapes that, you know, I own this team, I give these guys jobs, I pay them, I give them houses, I give them cars, but I'm an owner. Uh, and so he sort of created this class of people. He's okay to smugly sit on the sidelines and look at the people that he collectively owns, uh, but he doesn't really want to associate with them, and he doesn't want the people that he knows or is intimate with to be associated with African-American people. The reaction has been overwhelming against Sterling from former NBA greats like Magic Johnson. He's got to give up the team. If he doesn't like African-Americans and you're in a league that's over 70 percent African-Americans. <laughs> and Charles Barkley called for the NBA commissioner to suspend him on TNT's halftime report. You can't have this guy making statements like that. He has to suspend him and find him immediately. We cannot have an NBA owner discriminating against a league that we're a black league. LeBron James, the NBA's biggest star, made his feelings crystal clear before Saturday's playoff game. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, or whatever the case may be. Uh, we can't have that a part of our game, and we don't want Donald Sterling's comments to overshadow what this game means to everyone, including the fans. Even President Obama weighed in. When ignorant folks want to advertise their ignorance, you don't really have to do anything, you just let them talk. 
As for the Clippers, a silent protest. Yesterday afternoon, players removing their warm-up jackets and wearing their shooting shirts inside out to hide the Clippers logo, also wearing black wristbands. You know, I think fans are stunned, right? Clipper fans are thinking, hey, this is our first year that we can be relevant. They've got a chance to go to the championship, and now they have to deal with this cloud of, of controversy. As a sign of solidarity, the Miami Heat turned their warm-ups inside out before their game tonight versus the Charlotte Bobcats. And Sterling's own head coach, Doc Rivers, said earlier today that he believes that's Sterling's voice on the tapes and publicly blasted his comments. Yeah, I believe he said those things. I can't tell you how upset I am, our players are. But NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said he wasn't ready to punish Sterling just yet. All members of the NBA family should be afforded due process and a fair opportunity to present their side of any controversy which is why I'm not yet prepared to discuss any potential sanctions against Donald Sterling. The league added in a statement today that, quote, the NBA will make an announcement Tuesday about its investigation of the Los Angeles Clippers owner, Donald Sterling. The Clippers president defended his embattled owner, saying, quote, Mr. Sterling is emphatic that what is reflected on that recording is not consistent with, nor does it reflect his views, beliefs, or feelings. He feels terrible that such sentiments are being attributed to him. Wherever the truth lies, these events put the billionaire NBA Owners Club in a highly unenviable position. He's an owner who, who appears, from all indications, to be a bigot. I see a long suspension, an indefinite suspension for Donald Sterling, and somehow uh, the other owners, the other 29 owners who are in this very exclusive club, uh, will find a way to get rid of him and say, this is bad, you are bad for business, if nothing else. I'm Ryan Smith for Nightline in Los Angeles.